Hello, I thought today we'd spend a little bit of time on some breathing exercises. I'm not really going to go too deeply into how to breathe. There are a lot of really fantastic videos out there that explain it thoroughly. Check out all the muscles involved in breathing. This example looks pretty stiff to me. I'd sure like to see a lot more relaxation. Wait for it. links to some of these below. By no means is this the only breathing program out there. I'm just sharing one that I thought you might find helpful. Some of you who've been around for a while know that I'm a trumpet player. That's actually what I got my degree in in college. exercises that I'm going to show you today are actually from a pretty old book called Super Lung Power and Breath Control. Now obviously there are differences in playing a brass instrument uh, compared to singing. One of the things that's really important to note when we're working on breathing exercises, they don't always mimic the way we breathe when we sing. A lot of them deal with coordination, they deal with strength, they deal with flexibility, and so when we walk through these today, I need you to keep in mind that I'm not asking you to do this when you sing, okay? These are for strength, they are for flexibility, they are for increasing lung capacity. A couple of instructions. Always work on these exercises while seated. You do not want to be getting dizzy while you're standing. Do not do this while you're driving. This is just meant to be a few minutes at the beginning of a practice session. You can do it right after exercising, it's a fantastic bridge if you do exercise, breathing exercises, and then singing, that's a great way to go. The exercises I'm going to share with you right now are designed to be cumulative. So the first day we do two exercises, the next day we add one, the next day we add one, and it's designed to be a 21 day course. I'd recommend starting in a relaxed but tall posture. Make sure that the shoulders are relaxed, broad, and that the neck is released. You'll notice in one of the videos how many muscles are engaged when we breathe. We want to make sure that we give them maximum opportunity to expand and contract the way that's most natural. We want to make sure that we're not wearing anything that's too tight that's going to restrict our breathing. Then we just want to take a few breaths in, expanding everything that can be expanded, and then releasing it. Do that three times. And one more. Day one is a deep panting breath. If you remember the last time you sprinted, think back, I know you've done it. When you had that feeling like you're gasping for air, that's what we're trying to do here. Now, I'm going to say that you need to know your body. If something hurts, stop. If it's too vigorous, back off. Understand? We want to breathe in and out as if we had just run a mile. 10 times in, 10 times out. it's highly likely that that's going to make you dizzy. And that's okay, as long as it's tolerable. If you can only do two breaths, do two breaths. If you can only do three breaths, do three breaths. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. Please work at your own pace and be safe. 
what you'll notice is that my body's really heaving and working hard. Obviously, that's not the way I'm going to breathe when I'm singing, but it's engaging those muscles, it's stretching things out, it's really getting things moving. If you feel a little silly, that's okay. I'm right here doing it with you. With a vigorous breath, two times is enough. So let's do it one more time. After we've done the vigorous breathing, we're going to do the gentle breath. We want to aim for 30 seconds. It's pretty likely that when you first start this exercise, you won't be able to exhale for that long. But take a moment to get out your timer and see how long you can do this. Note if you went for five seconds, if you went for 10 seconds, if you went for 12 seconds, that's fine. We're just gonna take a breath in, set a timer and go. How did you do? That exercise is largely about control. Let's do that two more times. Exercise number three is the held breath. We don't just want to indiscriminately take a breath and hold it with tension. The idea is we want to hold the breath and suspend it. We want to suspend it with an open throat so that we're not closing off here. So it's not, when we exhale, we don't want to hear that release. It's being held with these muscles. We'll breathe in, we'll hold the breath, then you'll see me move a little bit. That's when I'm doing a head to toe check to make sure I'm not holding tension anywhere in the body. Once we've taken a breath in, the timer will start. At the end, we exhale forcefully and then relax. Repeat that two more times. So on day two, we'll do the vigorous panting breath twice. After that, we'll do the gentle breath, the one where we hold for a long time. See if you can increase the time by five seconds. So if you made it to 30, try for 35. If you made it to 10, try for 15. Then we'll do a new exercise. This is simply the vigorous breath. We're going to take a breath in and exhale with full force. Like you're trying to blow out a candle that's across the table. Let's do that two more times. You can choose if it feels better for you to breathe in through your mouth or through your nose for this. Nice job. To end day two, we'll do the held breath together. Let's aim for 35 seconds this time. If you didn't make it to 30 last time, that's okay. Just increase it by five seconds. Here we go. <sighs> Ending with a vigorous breath out. On day three, we'll start with that deep, vigorous panting breath two times. After that, head to the gentle breath. That's the long, steady breath for 40 seconds. Try that three times. Again, just improve by five seconds or by three seconds if that's your capacity today. After that, we'll do the vigorous breath, which is just the inhalation and push it out three times. The new exercise for day three is a shallow panting breath. This is where we pant like a dog. This is a really important coordination exercise. And what I'd like you to notice at the beginning is you'll probably feel very uncoordinated. What we're aiming for is this.
please go ahead and slow that down if you need to. A starting rate might be more. The idea is to keep it as steady as possible. That should be a timed exercise. Start with 10 seconds. And finally, we'll end with a held breath. Breathe in, relax, make sure the throat is open, and hold. Exhale with a vigorous breath. Day five. Deep panting breath, like you just ran a mile, twice. Vigorous breath, three times. Shallow panting breath, repeat twice. <laughs> Held breath, repeat twice. Improve by five seconds, we're aiming for 45 seconds. Finish with a gentle breath, 45 seconds. And in between every exercise, remember to relax and breathe normally. With just those few exercises, you can improve your breathing. For the next few days, the program prescribes day five and six, repeating those exercises, but increasing the length with which each exercise is performed. I'd like to show you one more exercise to challenge you that is added on day six. This is exactly what it looks like. Take a piece of paper, put it up against the wall, and you're going to try to hold it against the wall just using your breath. Aim for six counts. When you've mastered a quarter sheet, try a half sheet. And when you've mastered that, wish me luck. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of those exercises. Let me know what was successful for you and what was challenging. I'd love to see a video of you working on getting that piece of paper up against the wall. I will tell you that it's a little easier if the wall has a little bit of texture. If you're up against glass or something that's varnished, it's going to be more challenging. The other thing you can do if the wall work doesn't work for you is hold up a piece of paper and blow on one little spot, like aim for the size of a quarter and see if you can get the piece of paper to hold in more or less one position without fluttering too much. What you don't want, but this. Take care.